Hello you guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Vlogmas Day. Today we're going to be doing our first impressions on a foundation that has been sitting on my vanity for over a month and I was so eager to finally try it. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation which I have on the shade Ambient 8 and it is of course what I have on my skin today. I always do this to myself. I am very eager to try a product when I purchase, but then I want to wait until I have the time to properly sit down and film my first impressions. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be trying the Hourglass newest foundation. It is not new by any means. It is definitely new to me. I picked it up at a very good discount, 20% off during the Sephora VIP sale. This foundation is pricey, but I've heard very good things about it and we're gonna try it today. I've got the shade Ambient number eight. So nothing is on my skin except for my regular skincare. I'm gonna be using a hydrating primer that I've been loving and I know works really good. So this is the Essence Prime Studio Hydrating Primer. So I usually would also like to use a more glowy uh, primer, but because I want to really try the foundation to see how it looks, how it performs. I'm not gonna use anything that could help, let's say the glow of the foundation or anything that would help the foundation look better throughout the day, like last longer. So just a usual hydrating, just because my skin is more on the drier end. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just around, I don't know, the usual size amount that I would use. I do have my skin feeling way drier lately. It is much colder this past week than it has been before. So just a ton of primer that will help with that dryness. I brought you in a little bit closer for the actual foundation application. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half of my face with a brush and I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation brush. This one is the Love is the Foundation by It Cosmetics. And lately I've been really into applying my foundation with just my hands. So half of this, so this side is gonna be with my fingers and then this one with the uh, brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my rings because they're gonna get very dirty. And in the back of my hand, I'm just going to apply probably a pump. Yeah, a pump to begin with. And I am going to add this with my fingers just everywhere. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the foundation brush. And the color match is actually perfect. I am very happy that I got the best shade and I did this through the website. So I did pick up this on the app whenever the Sephora sale was going on. So now let's go ahead and uh, blend in with the foundation brush. So here we have half of my face with just the primer, the hydrating one, and then here half the face with the primer, of course, and the foundation blended with the brush. It is definitely more fuller coverage than I was thinking. Um, and it's more on the satin, more matte uh, finish. It's definitely not glowy at all, which if you know my channel or you know me, you know that I love my glowy foundation, but that is never something that steers me out off of like uh, more matte foundations because very easily I can just add a more glowy primer and it'll just give me that glow that I love but it's sitting really well and it blended out very nicely, which I've been, like I mentioned earlier, loving just applying with my fingers because I feel like it melts the foundation much better into my skin and looks more natural. But with the brush, it blended out in no time and very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit extra on the back of my hand, probably like half a pump would be sufficient. And now with my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and apply and then blend also with my fingers. So just kind of like dotting the foundation everywhere. If I need more, I'll go ahead and apply more. But now just with my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. All done with the foundation. Personally, I think I liked better the application with my fingers, although it was not really significant. It's just like a personal preference, just because I've been very into doing that lately with all of my foundations. So that's just personally, but the brush, you saw it applied and went on very smooth. It blended super fast and very nicely. There's no streaks, no nothing. Some foundations, especially when they're more thicker or more full coverage, 
you have to make sure that with the brush application you go back and kind of like perfect all the areas because sometimes it can leave a few like uh, brush strokes uh, that are noticeable but I didn't find anything like that at all let me get just a little bit closer even more closer and personal I just said that the foundation was more on the matte side but now that the foundation has been on my skin for a few minutes I can definitely see a little bit of a glow so you can see here on my cheeks especially somehow on the side where I uh, blended with my fingers I can see that glow even more like you see it right there and then when I turn this is still there but not as noticeable as this side it's just like very reflecting in a more subtle kind of way which I really like I think this is the perfect more natural looking foundation so it gave me full coverage i feel like that was very full coverage i was definitely not expecting that you can even see down here i have uh two white patches right from verlaigo that of course i have it around my eyes but i didn't really touch around my eyes because i always go with uh concealer and corrector which i'm gonna be using the hourglass for this or for today's look but uh here it went on very nicely and it covered really well the white. So I am very impressed. Again, I was not expecting this to be a full coverage. I, I don't know what I was expecting. But anyway, I personally prefer this side better. I think it's definitely more glowy, but I love that very, just like a foundation name, a very soft glow that it's giving me. I feel like this is going to be definitely a foundation suited for way more skin types than myself. And I feel like the whole glowy, foundation look or glowy base it's not for everyone like if you have more normal to uh to oily skin this might not be your vibe like having a super glowy base so giving like or having a foundation that's gonna give you a very soft glow i think that's catered for even more people so i really do like that and i can see that soft glow and i think it looks very natural but anyway here it is i am going to finish up my makeup like i mentioned for concealer and uh, corrector I'm gonna be using my Tarte and the Hourglass Ambient Concealer and here is the full face I just want to show you real quick that highlighter is of course from the actual face palette but you saw how the foundation looked by itself with no powder no highlighter no nothing and it does provide a very beautiful soft subtle glow that I really actually like for that almost everyday more natural looking skin i think that glow is the perfect amount for your everyday and whenever you don't want to be over the top just kind of like look like your face is very naturally glowing from within like a very just natural glow instead of like over the top oh yeah she does have a lot of you know glowy products underneath so I really like it. I think it went very beautifully. All of the products that I used on my face were, of course, from the face palette, from Hourglass. So everything just blended really nicely, very smoothly. I wasn't, you know, thinking it wouldn't because, of course, this palette is always a dream. But the foundation worked really nicely also with the corrector, concealer, and the powder. I did use just powder around the usual areas where I do wear, like, the eyes and down here where I do apply concealer to cover the white patches. So I use the Charlotte Tilbury and then finishing powder, the elephant palette. So yeah, here it is, a closer look. Let me kind of like just move my face a little bit slower so you can see it. All of this does not have any glow. It's just the actual glow from the highlighter. But whatever you see like down here, that's a bit more fresh looking, a little bit more glowy. It is from the actual uh, foundation. So it's been like an hour, everything just looks very smooth, very beautiful, I really like this foundation. I was just reading on the Sephora website that this foundation is actually labeled as a medium coverage foundation, so not full. I think maybe it's just a matter of I've been wearing a lot of skin tints lately, that just grabbing a real foundation made it seem like a full coverage. But I think that's perfect, uh, as someone who is now enjoying less coverage and kind of like lighter products this feels really good on my skin it blended very nicely you saw how easy it was with both the brush on this side and then my fingers on this side personally i think i'm gonna skip or i'm gonna uh, 
prefer the uh, uh, blending with my fingers uh, more than the brush. Regardless, both were beautifully. The foundation just absorbed into my skin really nicely. Nothing sat like weird because you know how sometimes foundations can cling can cling to like little patches here and there on your skin, especially if you have more drier skin. Right now, the sides of my mouth are very dry, but everything just blended and looks beautiful. Nothing seems like it's just kind of like sitting in there. It's just a very natural, very pretty, very soft glow foundation. So, so far as a first impressions, I'm really liking it. That'll be everything for today. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye.